Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Nerd Perks. I hope you guys all had a fantastic holiday and a happy new year. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to drop an egg without breaking it. So what you're going to need is an egg, I drew a face on this one, his name is Timmy, uh, a nylon sock and either un some uncooked rice or cooked rice. Alright, let's get started. Okay. So we're going to start off with the dry rice just because it's a little bit easier. Um, as you can see, I've already started filling up the sock. This is my last scoop. It takes six and a half scoops. So you're just going to open it up and pour it in. When you're done, take your egg, drop it in, and wiggle it around until it's in about the middle. Kind of make sure it's shaped around the egg. And then you're just going to tie it off. Because my um, nylon is kind of skinny and I don't know if it breaks, I don't want to be losing stuff. Take the excess and wrap it around it. And there you go. So I'm going to be dropping it from all the way up there. It's about 15 feet maybe. Alright, let's go. Now that we have Timmy safely secured right here on the landing, it's time to drop him. Alright, ready Timmy? Alright, I always get like a heartbreaking moment. Goodbye Timmy. Up, oh, and let me go check on it. And now we have Timmy on the ground. Just gonna pick it up. And come back to where the bowl was. And you're going to open it. So you're just gonna unwrap it, untie it, and then take everything and carefully remove your egg. And this is the moment of truth. You have the option of either pulling your egg out or dumping it in there. But here we have Timmy, safe, safe and sound. Good job, Timmy. All right, now we're gonna do the one with the cooked rice. Um, I suggest washing your hands first and grabbing a stick of butter because the rice that I'm using, which is Japanese sticky rice, is really, really sticky and it'll stick to your hands and it's really hard to put inside of the stocking. So let's go wash our hands. All right, now that we've washed our hands, it's time to butter them. Um, you can cut off a stick of butter if you're optional, but my hands are clean. I'm going to use this to cook my eggs later, so just take that, rub it all over your hands like lotion. It. Mm, butter. America's favorite. Alright. What you're going to do now that your hands are nice and buttered is take your cooked rice and be careful not to burn yourself because it's very hot. You're gonna take your stocking, and this is um, easier if you, I found, take it inside out how you want to do it, and initially just grab a ton of rice and then flip it back inside out. From there, then you're gonna keep. And just dropping it in. Um, there isn't really an exact measurement on how much rice you want. You just want a lot of rice. Alright, now that you have a good base started, take your egg, put it in. The um, orientation doesn't really matter so much on this one. I just I put it vertically this time. And you're gonna wanna just kinda make sure there's enough on the bottom, just gently place it on the top. What you're going to start doing with the rice is filling it in around the sides, which means you drop the rice in, then you're going to want to push it with your hands to the side, like that. And you're going to keep doing this. So there isn't an exact amount of rice I put in. Um, the, when I first did this, the ball was about 8 centimeters high and around... 11 to 10 to 11 inches in, or centimeters in diameter. 
what you're going to do is just make a nice, decent sized ball. Make sure you um, poke around the outside. Make sure you can't feel your egg anywhere. What you're going to do is make it nice and tight again like last time. You can twist a little bit. It makes it easier for you to tie it. Tie it off. And same thing I did. Take this and wrap it around it again. And nice little rice ball. Timmy, time to take another ride. All right, we have Timmy. Again, same spot. This is with the cooked rice. Ready? And drop. And time to go check again. Once again, we're going to pick up Timmy. And time to unpack this little guy. This is his fourth time around, actually. I did this once earlier for each time. All right, so I'm packing this guy. It's a little bit messier. I was just having it played out, but I mean, I'm just gonna clean it up anyways. What's actually really cool is once you take it out, it is in the shape of a ball, essentially. Crack it open, <laughs> like an egg, and there is Timmy safe and sound, albeit a bit wet from the rice. We have Timmy. Timmy is safe, no cracks yet, and we are good. Good job, Timmy. Now comes essentially the fun part. Timmy is going to take a little bath. So take your butter, take your egg. You can make it however way you want to, it's up to you. I'm just gonna butter my pan really quickly. I think it's gonna stick. And then now Timmy's gonna crack. See how easily Timmy cracked. Poor Timmy. Alright. Hey, now we have Timmy. And I'm gonna eat Timmy. It tastes good. I'm gonna put some pepper. Um, this was actually done for my physics project, which is a car and passenger safety thing. So when I have the car done, I'll let you guys know. See how it goes. Alright, don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe.